remain our top three finishers. Now moving into the girls' open 400-yard medley relay. Asphalt Green Unified Aquatics in lane one. Nova of Virginia in lane two. Suburban Seahawks in lane three. Nation's Capitals A relay will be in lane four. Nation's Capitals B relay in lane five. Eagle swim team in lane six. Machine in lane seven. And the Suburban Seahawks B relay will be in lane eight. We see Phoebe Bacon for Nation's Capital A relay in lane four. She'll the swim. The 100 back we didn't get to see earlier. Exactly. She exactly. was fourth at nationals in this event last week. That was only last week? Only last week. Oh, God. Where have I been since then? <laughs> right Where here. She is all over the country. <laughs> so Bacon, I think, obviously going to take this first 100 here. She's going to be out in 25-something, 26-something, oh, 26.4, followed by the swimmer for NCAP B relay in 2709. Not the fastest split, but you got to imagine she's tired. It's been a long night. So I have the two fly and the two breast. It's 824. Yeah. Final started at 545. She'll have to be here in, you know, 11 hours for prelims. Give her a break. Exactly. She'll still touch first, Maybe she'll though. still do an interview with us afterwards. <laughs> I think so. I think she'll be up for it. We'll see. See if we can. 54-45, solid time. Followed by, that's Eagle Swim Team, actually, in 56.07. And then NCAP's B Relay was actually in third there, 56.09. So unlike the 200, you kind of have to have a little quicker tempo than the 100 here. Especially that first 50, you want to set up the stroke, set up the speed, and then that second 50, you can be a little, a little longer if need be, depending on what kind of breaststroker you are. Wow, had a 28-96 first 50 split from the machine breaststroker who's getting machine back in this race. They might actually be ahead of Eagle Swim and Nation's Capital as we go, go into the butterfly here. But it is Nation's Capital's A relay still as we move into the butterfly. NCAP's A relay not as far ahead as they're seated to be. That's Cassidy Bear. But that's Cassidy water, Bear, yep. so that might change now. Really, the suit. I mean, if you couldn't recognize her, which which I can, the, the suit, the, yeah, and the stroke, yeah. Really recognizable stroke, so smooth. And out in 24-8. It says the Nova A swimmer is out in 18-9. I'm gonna say that's probably wrong. That's, Going out on yeah. a limb here. Somebody, Be somebody touched the touch malfunction. Yep. yep, it happens. Unless Caleb Dressel's in here somewhere. <laughs> Going I'd 18. love to see if Caleb could actually go to 18.50 fly split. I'm sure he could. We just haven't seen it. We just haven't seen it yet. Tom Shields used to go 19s when he was at Cal. No, not yet. So yeah. did Matt Target. Plenty yeah. of guys have done that. But we haven't seen I don't. I don't know if we've seen an 18. So that looks like a 52 plus on Bayer there. Solid swim. Solid and cap one, two there. Followed by in lane seven, Machine Aquatics. I think Nation's Capital is going to go one, two here. Machine trying to get back in this. Eagle Swim Team right there as well for third. Nova out there trying to battle for third. Asphalt Green not out of it either. But it's all nation's capital as we go into the last 25. They'll secure a one-two finish. Just a question of the time. It will be 3.41.30 for Nations Capital A relay, 3.44.13 for their B relay, and getting third was Eagle Swim Team, 3.46.52. And this will lead us into our final event of the night, the boys open 400-yard.